what sets a Tesla apart from a Ferrari and a Mustang? Given how significantly different they seem from one another, I'm sure you can tell. But did you know that these vehicles all have one more attribute that makes them unique? Let's discuss the platform, which is the most crucial part of any automobile, electric or not. While cars such as the Model 3, Mustang, or Daewoo Lanos may be easily recognized by their iconic exteriors, the true essence of a car lies behind its exterior. Press the like button first, and don't forget to subscribe to Tesla Stock News in order to trigger YouTube's algorithm. The platform of an automobile is what makes it more than just a basic metal box on wheels. It establishes the efficiency, performance, and manufacturability of an automobile. Recognizing this, Tesla set the standard early on in the model's development process, creating the foundation for a platform that would ultimately shape the future of electric vehicles. With a groundbreaking idea that will revolutionize automobile design, Tesla is reimagining the electric car platform after 10 years. Some may argue that General Motors invented the first electric vehicle skateboard platform before Tesla, as was highlighted in the comments section. Although it's not entirely untrue, that statement isn't entirely accurate either. It's not really that difficult. Let's look at these details now. In January 2002, General Motors unveiled the Autonomy, a concept vehicle characterized by a futuristic spaceship-like look. This prototype was meant to be a fully autonomous car powered by hydrogen fuel cells and had a unique appearance. The body rested atop a fully autonomous platform that resembled a skateboard, hence the term skateboard platform. The idea was to offer a universal platform on which any type of vehicle body could be mounted. Although the autonomy was merely a concept and was never built as an actual car, General Motors deserves praise for its advancements. To their credit, General Motors created the high wire, an electric car that runs on a board platform for hydrogen fuel cells. Though it did not resemble the ultra-futuristic autonomy concept, the high wire showcased the capabilities of the platform. In a Top Gear feature, James May took the high wire for a test drive in a parking lot to show off its steer-by-wire capabilities. The car's body could even be lifted off the chassis to show off the hydrogen fuel cell that powers the skateboard platform. With a single front axle electric motor capable of 80 brake horsepower and a top speed of 100 mph, the high wire was a fully electric car. The fact that there was only one high wire in the world valued at roughly $10 million at the time, highlights how unique it is despite its lack of general recognition. Things did not go as planned. Despite General Motors' audacious 2003 announcement that they aimed to have a commercially viable platform by 2010. According to one version of events, GM requested confirmation from ExxonMobil, the largest petroleum corporation globally, that it would deliver the infrastructure necessary to produce hydrogen, which is necessary for the fuel cell platform to be viable unaware of the subsequent spike in gas prices that followed geopolitical events. ExxonMobil's decline was anticipated given the low gas prices that prevailed at the time. GM chose to remain with the original design rather than pursue the alternative fuel source, which would have meant replacing the hydrogen fuel cell with batteries. Similar to their earlier attempt at creating a hydrogen skateboard, General Motors had an electric car in the 1990s that ran on batteries that they disregarded and threw away. They presented it as though Tesla had invented these ideas first. These days, people like Joe B. claim that General Motors started the electric car revolution. Let's take a closer look at what he means. GM gave up trying to implement their innovative but impractical concept for a battery electric car. They also abandoned a proposal for an electric skateboard platform that was intriguing but not feasible. The second electric vehicle to garner attention on top gear was the 2008 Tesla Roadster. It was not as good as the high wire, but it was still lacking in many innovative design elements. Although it had a slightly longer wheelbase and only shared 6% of the parts with the Lotus Elise sports car, the Roadster was constructed using the same blueprints as the mid-engine rear wheel. Drive Elise sports car. Lotus employed the same materials and production processes to produce the Tesla chassis, despite the fact that Tesla had a custom-developed chassis. The Roadster was an unused EV chassis, with its battery pack simply heaped up behind the front seats where the Lotus engine should have been. The Tesla electric motor was installed lower in the back, taking up space from the Lotus transmission and differential. Although it was an amazing car, the EV's platform wasn't totally practical. Everything changed. When the Model S was introduced, Tesla used the money from the Roadster sale to fund Elon Musk's ambitious plan to manufacture the world's first mass-produced all-electric car. They designed a platform from the ground up that completely integrated the battery pack and power electronics into the chassis to achieve a reduced center of gravity and fair weight distribution. This approach is known as first principles thinking. In the center of the chassis, they stacked all of the battery modules in a single level layer. It looked like a standard car from the outside with a set and body and frame, but inside was an electric skateboard that was battery operated. Innovations from Tesla extend beyond the Model S. They still make hundreds of Model X SUVs on the same skateboard platform. 
Because the platform is flexible, customers can choose between many battery pack capacities and single or twin motors for all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. These days, skateboard chassis, originally employed in the Model S, are used to build most electric vehicles regardless of manufacturer. You'll get the authentic General Motors original skateboard if you decide to buy a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle instead. There are currently just two of these cars in production, both of which are made by GM, and they are largely utilized in California. Tesla was the first to create a battery-powered skateboard that could be mass-produced without relying on the fossil fuel industry, even though they may not have been the first to build a skateboard platform for electric cars. With their EV skateboard platform, Tesla is pushing the limits of production efficiency, friendliness, and integration as they approach the start of their second decade of production. During Battery Day in 2020, Tesla unveiled an improved skateboard platform with a more streamlined and effective design. The principal innovation is the structural battery pack. Unlike previous generations when the battery modules were integrated into the chassis, the battery pack now serves as the chassis itself. Tesla's huge diameter 4,680 battery cells are housed in a flat metal box that integrates the cooling system and battery management. Any remaining empty space is filled up with high-density adhesive foam, giving the structure additional strength in typical specialized frame sections. The battery pack is flanked by two Giga castings, one for the front and one for the back frame sections. The new skateboard platform stands out because to this stylistic change, instead of existing above the skateboard, the wheel wells and crash rails are merged into the base platform by means of the Giga. Casting method, which utilizes the largest die casting machinery in the world. There is only one metal component that makes up the front and back sections. The entire structure of the skateboard platform consists of just three large pieces that are bolted together. Not only is the battery pack the structure of the car, it also serves as the cabin floor. In previous versions, the battery pack was under the floor. However, it is now the floor itself. The carpet, seats, and center console may all be integrated into the skateboard, which enhances the vehicle's overall aesthetic. All it takes to convert the skateboard base into a standalone electric car is the addition of pedals and a steering wheel. By taking the chance to create their own platform to increase the efficiency and performance of their automobiles, Tesla pushed the boundaries of what was feasible for electric vehicles. This decision exemplifies Tesla's unwavering commitment to innovation and their never-ending quest for progress. Rather than taking a back seat and accepting things as they are, Tesla consistently challenges itself to accomplish more and provide outstanding results. Tesla's approach to developing its own platform is predicated on their unwavering conviction that true innovation exists. They. Understand that innovation is a process rather than an isolated incident or static achievement. It demands an unending pursuit of excellence, an unwillingness to give up, and a willingness to push boundaries and explore uncharted territory. Because of their consistent dedication to creating important improvements and producing exceptional achievements in electric car technology, Tesla stands out as a top firm. While some may be content with few advancements and modifications, Tesla is constantly looking for new ways to innovate and get better.